it is late afternoon on Sunday, February the 25th. Earlier this morning, I did an impromptu live video to test my live stream. What you see here is I was showing the folks in my live this morning how you can use glycerin that you get at the drugstore as an embossing base. That is nothing that I invented or discovered. I first learned of using glycerin as an embossing base from Lindsay at the Frugal Crafter. However, I took it a step further and I used it to do drippage. Now, I will say that embossed drippage is, is Mary's technique. <laughs> I really enjoy doing it. This here, whoops, I did, I brushed across because this part is not embossed. I kind of messed that up. Oops. But that's okay. This is just a test piece anyway. When I put this glycerin on this page, I let it drip down this way. And you can see me doing it in that video. It looks like just like raindrops going down a window. And it's very thick. And you can, when it's, when it's thinner, you can actually emboss with it. And I let this dry a little. And this part in here is embossed. See how I rubbed on that? And this part is not embossed, so it's very... It's, it's just not embossed. <laughs> it's very loose. This part here is embossed. I took my heat gun, and in fact, let me do that right here. I'll emboss the rest of this. I think that if, if this were like a pretty silver color, you could actually see the change in it when it embosses. This is nice and shiny. It's a little warm yet. I'm going to take a paper towel and kind of wipe off some of it. You can see it's, it's embossed on there. There's maybe some of this that isn't on the glycerin is will rub off, but that's okay. Most of it is. This is just a test piece. This is nothing. This is what I was doing for demonstration purposes. And I will say again that if you if you um, if you use a stronger, a thicker embossing powder, U T E E is an ultra thick embossing powder. I think you'll have. A much more enjoyable experience although I wouldn't say that this is a bad experience this embossed very nice for me it's not a neat perfect piece but it wasn't meant to be I wasn't trying to get an elegant name off of this this is embossed drippage this would be something I would do on a mixed media piece in fact this is a journal page and you can see here where the the glycerin did soak through to the other side glycerin is a, a plant-based oil so expect that to happen I mean don't let it surprise you when that happens I think you could probably even paint over this but I wanted to I wanted to show you that I just kind of wanted to follow up on that I was reading the comments of the video after I after my live on Sunday morning, February 25th, processed, and Janet had suggested maybe using some of that glycerin through a stencil with a, a paintbrush. I thought that was a good idea. You could even sponge it on through a stencil to get a very embossed, maybe a textured feel on there if you wanted to. So I might, next trip I do to... My art supplies invest in some ultra thick embossing powder and you might see me doing this again just for fun so I'm gonna set this aside this is Sunday afternoon sometimes when I like to do art that's just enjoyable for me to do I'll get out an old sketchbook and I got this one out this is one I started a couple years ago let's see I my first page well April 23rd one year ago <laughs> 2017 so it's not really even that old but I haven't been doing a lot in it but I've been sketching when I watch videos just different different pictures practicing 
sketching a little bit of an open mouth there. Uh, this was my desk. Nothing, nothing beautiful, just a quick sketch. Waiting for my videos to open to YouTube, upload to YouTube. What would Maisie look like? So even here, you can see a year ago, I was trying to get kind of a visual image of what I thought my little Maisie character would look like. And I'm just doing little doodles here. She's in a car here. So different positions, different different uh, places where she might be. This I sketched a face off of a video again here, and then I added some lettering. Just, just uh, really just sketching around. Here I took my car in to be serviced, and this was out in the parking lot. I went over to McDonald's and had a lunch. <laughs> this was inside the car service, and I think that's my last sketch. So today, I thought it's been a long time since I've actually sketched a face from a photograph. And then this is just a lady of, she reminds me of my fourth grade school teacher, who I loved. I mean, she was a very nice lady. <laughs> That's who she reminds me of. But look at that collar. Isn't that fun? This is cut work, probably. Would you be caught wearing that? Well, maybe you would if you had kind of a funky outfit on. But I think I will sketch this lady today. And I think I'm just going to play. It's been a long time since I've sketched with my R2 pens. Let me zoom in a little. Here's my finished sketch. I used this photograph that I've had in my stash as a reference photo. And here's my finished sketch. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just sitting down, getting some practice, just playing with. And the more that you practice and the more that you work with it or play with it or just experiment, the more fun you have and the better you get. So I also showed you the finished embossing here on this piece that I did in my live session this morning. I really do like this area in here. I think it embossed really nice. So this was just more an experiment to show you how you could use glycerin to emboss with. And I will call your attention to it that when you do that, expect your glycerin to soak through to the other side. 
you probably want to do this on pieces that you are going to collage down on a mixed media piece or something you don't care. I think you could probably even paint over this or gesso over it. But I like this. I think I'll put this in my Society of Idea Collectors journal. So, just having a little more fun with experimenting with art. How fun this is. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you on the next page.